surprise, I've moved. A hairy manhole. I cannot begin to understand how much relief I have. Hi guys, um, surprise, I've moved, um, as some of you might guess, and um, that's why I've been pretty quiet recently and why I said that there's been a lot going on. I kept things quiet while I was moving and going through everything just because I felt really stressed out at the time. I had a lot going on. Um, my anxiety went through the roof. Uh, I was getting down and out and depressed about certain things and I thought the best way for me to deal with it is for me to take care of myself um, during that process. It was expensive, it was in the middle of COVID. The owner of the house that I was in put the house up for sale and I started looking around and found a place quite quickly. So I gave my notice and I had moved into this place. So if you guys like, I will do a house tour here very soon. If you'd like. Well, carpet cleaners here, doing the carpets in the place. I'll tell you what, it has been a journey. I am utterly exhausted. By the time I come down here, clean, go home, have to unpack. Pretty exhausted by the end of it. You know, I have a hot shower. My back's that bad, I get sciatic in my, down my leg and can barely walk and I just go to bed and crash. Stay tuned. Okay, so um, I'm back at the house today. So I'm going to take you guys for a walk through and show you the other things that they're complaining about that I think are, are unreasonable. So in here, this was my old room. Um, that mark there. Blinds, they say the blinds are dirty. Well, I don't know if you guys can see the blinds, but they look pretty freaking clean to me. Windows and window sills. I actually think that that's pretty freaking clean. Light switches. That's what they're complaining about right there. Um, oh, there's a piece of hair hanging on the manhole. A hairy manhole. Who ever heard of a hairy manhole? I don't even know how hair gets up there. Do you have a hairy manhole? Because I certainly do. So this, apparently, this is dirty. The back of the oven. See all that wiring hanging out? That is highly unsafe. Yes, there's a bit of crap there that I missed. I'll clean that. That one's clean. There is like a dead spider in that one. The streaky range hood. As you can see, I've cleaned it, but it's streaky. So I've got to get rid of the streaks, guys. So let's go ahead and do that. From the bathroom, cost me $12. I have cleaned this now. There is no cobwebs and all of the lights are working. So come on a cleaning adventure with me. You want me to look into my crystal ball and see if I can see? Can you see if I'll get an axolotl? Okay, let's have a look. Ooh. I see an axolotl in your future. Yay! <laughs> understand how much relief I have 
for handing the keys back and getting everything over and done with. It's like a weight has been lifted off my shoulders. Oh, it's just a nightmare. There should be more, more coverage for tenants. Sorry, everything has been, you know, come to a stop for a little while, but now you know why. Um, hopefully this means everything can settle down. All right, I'm not gonna ramble on too long because I don't wanna bore you guys, but let me explain a couple of things. So when I moved out of the place, I did a full clean, then they did the final inspection about four or five days after I moved out. They ended up giving me four pages of items that they felt needed to be cleaned. It was a very extensive list and the reason why I got really annoyed about it was because a lot of the things on the list I felt shouldn't even have been there. For instance, the streaky range hood, cobwebs on the clothesline, the tiny little mark behind my door, the tiny little mark on the bathroom floor. It's almost like some of the things were legitimate that I forgot about. It's just something that happens sometimes. You forget about these things and the tops are cupboards. But there were a lot of things on that list that were just really um, petty. And so I, I kind of wanted to share this with you guys because if there's somebody out there who is a tenant and they want to know what their rights are, hopefully like they can see this and, and know what I went through and kind of maybe follow the same steps. So what I did was um, I went back to the place and I went through the list and I ticked things off the list as I went. I didn't gripe about anything. I just did what they asked. After that second inspection everything was fine i let her know that i had taken photos and videos of everything before and after of me cleaning everything i have proof that i did everything all i say is when you move into a place document everything even if it's like a nick of paint a scratch a crack uh, a broken blind or something's dirty mark it down on your condition report one thing that i didn't know and was a learning journey for me was the fact that when you move out of a rental you don't have to wait for the real estate to um, apply to get the bond back. You can do that yourself. And I didn't know that. So you actually save yourself. I believe it was about $140. That's all finalized and done with now. And I'm so happy. And I have settled into this new place fantastically. Um, thank you guys for coming on this journey. I hope I didn't bore you too much. But, you know, we had a little bit of fun along the way. Yeah. If there's anything else that you guys want to see, let me know. We are in lockdown at the moment, so it is quite boring, but um, stay safe out there. Wear your mask, protect yourself. Talk to you soon.